Parada, a storied career in Mexico for Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre, better known as CMLL. It's like for over a decade. They are the oldest active wrestling promotion in the world. And Dorado once held four titles simultaneously there. The World Welterweight, World Super Lightweight, World Trios, and Mexican National Trios Championship before heading to WWE. And he got to spend some time in Japan. He's on the way! He wow! Is. Yeah, spent some time in New Japan as well as a partner promotion for CMLL, and he is a gifted high flyer as he hits the tope. Did you see that placement? Pinpoint accuracy with the dives. Head first with all that body weight behind it, right into the midsection of Gringo Loco. And unlike last time we saw Gringo Loco when the airlines lost his gear, this oh. is what Gringo looks like in his wrestling gear. Springboard Swanton and a kick out at two by Loco. Dorada trying to make quick work of the base god here in LA. Many have tried. Fans getting behind it, man. This Lucha infusion. Oh. Overhand chop from Loco reversing the whip. Up and over in the corner. There's the athleticism of Gringo Loco. Gringo Loco, the human gift machine. Ducks the clothesline. The second oh my goes Dorada. And whenever you launch yourself in the air with your back turned to your opponent, you are throwing caution to the wind. Speak of the devil, but it's calculated there. You see in a maneuver like that, your back's only turned for a split microsecond. You're still taking a chance, and but it's a different You one. still are looking at your opponent when oh, you, leave, yes, when yes, you yes. leave your feet. Correct. That's the difference. And Gringo with a big smile after hitting the Tope Con Hero. Gringo local, the base god. Gringo's a guy who I don't think gets his due as an athlete, as a luchador. But I think he's a guy that a lot of people are going to watch years down the line looking back at his oh, career. Man. And they're going to realize just how good for how long this guy was. Cover, leg is hooked, and a kick out. You can peep an extensive catalog of Gringo local matches right here on Fight TV. He's been a part of countless Game Changer Wrestling events, and finally we get to enter his world full-blown, the world on Lucha. I can't wait. We are counting down. Dorada in a lot of trouble here at the moment, but things can change very quickly in the world. And we've Lucha. seen that in right on cue. It's Dorada with the right hand and now exchanging chops with Loco. Switches up to the forearm, into the ropes. Dorada closed the gaps. Oh, man. Planted chest first. That right, knocked the wind right out of you. It's the leg, he gets a near fall. Dorada doesn't look happy about the way things are going right now. He's got to change the momentum. He's got to change the tide of this battle, but it's easier said than done. Oh. Bring a little. Some may call it cocky, I'll speak confident. Sure, but maybe overly confident because it could, didn't even begin to get a one count. Oh. Overhand chop. It's amazing to see Gringo Loco continually move so high up in the, the, the ladder of wrestling that every week it seems he's fighting another legend, another, another absolute cover. standout. And another kick out at two. And right now, I'd have to say the match definitely being wrestled. Tell me if you agree, Kevin, at a pace that would certainly favor Gringo Loco. While he can take to the skies, he is a, a thicker athlete. He's wrestling a little bit slower, more deliberate pace, pacing himself, if you Indeed. will. Indeed. I, I certainly agree with that statement. I think if the pace picks up a little bit, it favors Escada Dorada. Oh, no, Gringo now going for the mask. Wait a second. I'm shocked. A sign of ultimate disrespect. Yeah, I'm very shocked Gringo would do that. Maybe he's trying to get into his head, I don't know, but eats an elbow for his trouble. Whatever it takes to get the win, but Dorada's not a man to be respected. To be disrespected. Oh yeah, not a man to be disrespected. He is a man to be respected, without a doubt. Walking the ropes into the Hurricane Rana. And thank you for that correction, Lenny Leonard. Gringo Loco in a bit of trouble here. Ooh. Dorada was able to weather the offensive storm from Loco in the early going, but now looks to be asserting himself here in the corner. 
corner reverse. Rana quickly what? walking the ropes with ease, but blocked. The strength of oh Pringle Oko. Turns it into a sit-out powerbomb pinning position. Oh, Good almost. Lord, two and three and four quarters. Holy cow. That orange two doesn't convey how close to three that count was. Oko a little disappointed that that was not enough to finish off Dorada here. He now finds himself on the outside and fans wisely making a hole. Oh, look out. Some of them better than others. Oh, no. Oh, still up close and personal. Hold your drinks. Fighting away. I love that Mansur stopped breaking the fucking chairs banner in the background there. Shout out to GCW Travel. On the way back to the opposite side of the ring. Taking a tour all along the floor. Clear in the lane. Ooh. Right hand from Dorada. Now Where's Dorada going fans. now? Wait a second. I don't like how this is going. Right in front of the stage here. Yeah, they are just off. They are right here in front of us on Look the stage. Out. We got chaos like they inches are, away. Yeah, they are literally a couple of inches in front of us here. God damn, I at hope the we stay on booth. the air. Ringo Loco throws the right hand, miss. Oh no! Oh. Tilt the world backbreaker onto the stage, and you can feel the impact that reverberated the entire stage. And now it's Loco down on the floor. Dorada right here in front of us. Taking flight! Dorada soaring through the air and taking Gringo out for the moment. It's chaos here at the Ukrainian Cultural Center. Hashtag GCW coldest. But it's gotta get, does Dorada has got to get Loco back to the ring. And doing just that. That's where you win them and lose them, Lenny. You know that better than anybody. It's right in that ring. And now Dorada is fired up. He's feeling that freedom. His only limits are his own physical and mental limits. And he is essentially, dare I say, a man without limits. And now going all the way to the top. But it's Loco back up, taking the balance away. Crotching Dorada on the top turnbuckle. And Dorada hit hard. Shockingly and suddenly, but still fighting back. He and Loco on the second rope. Dorada up top. Look at the balance of Dorada. Both these men. What the fuck? Double jump, Spanish fly, cover! Two, three, no! Double jump, one man standing Spanish fly. Call it what you want to call it. That was absolutely incredible. Who knew? Who knew? Unbelievable, but not enough to finish Dorada off here. Dorada still in the fight. Both these men had something taken out of them right there. But it's Loco up first. Surprised to see it. Dorada took the worst of it. Elevating Loco onto the apron. Ooh. Right hand connects. Oh, step up Enzigiri. Right across the chest. And now it's Dorada again going to the top. Walks the ropes. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Hits the Tejeras. Fireman's carry position. This isn't going to end well. Loco escapes. Steps out the back door. Swing and a miss. Into the ropes. Traps the head. DDT. Unbelievable body control. Running shooting star press cover. No. 
Shooting Star Press with a little headbutt at the end. Colliding with the noggin of Gringo Local, but still not enough to take the base god off his throne. Two tough, tough athletes here laying it all on the line. And now Dorada again going to the top. But it's Gringo Loco from behind, again taking the balance away from Dorada. This time though, Dorada, thankfully for him, did not crotch himself on that top rope, which can make all the difference. Now up on the shoulders of Loco. As Loco straddles that second turnbuckle. There it is! What a counter One, shoulders down! Two. Gringo Loco has done it! I'm hesitant to call it an upset. Fair. Because Gringo Loco is as talented as they come. But, but a huge win nonetheless.